now we're ready to print our plates. We've got our plate here, a piece of paper that is slightly bigger than the plate. And I'm just going to pop that into some water just to soak. I recommend that you wear a pair of gloves just so that when you're handling your paper you can take your gloves off and keep everything clean but it also protects your hands from the ink. For inking up and printing we need a small amount of ink, a piece of card to spread the ink into the plates, a piece of scrim for wiping the ink off and some newsprint or tissue paper for wiping the plates. Uh, you see the dog just coming into the set there, helping out as usual. Okay, so just take a small amount of ink and spread that all over the plate. And you need to turn your plate around in all different directions and you'll find that your card goes a little bit soggy. So when that happens, you need to turn it around to the other side or get yourself another piece of card. So we don't want to put too much ink on, but we need to cover the whole surface of the plate. This card is very soggy today. That's covered nicely now. So we then take our scrim and just soften it a little bit and we make that into a really nice round ball and we're just going to wipe the ink off the surface of the plate but we're leaving the ink into any scores or scratches that you've created so keep turning your scrim around make sure it is a nice round ball because what we're not wanting to do is take the ink out of those marks that you've made Get it so that it's like a mid-tone, what we're going to do is we're just going to get our newsprint or tissue paper and just wipe the surface clean. Make sure that that's really nice and flat so what you don't want to do is scrunch that up because then you're in danger of over wiping it. So I've got one piece of newsprint holding the plate firm to the surface and just polishing with the other one. And there we have it. Our plate is now inked up and ready to print. So I'm going to go over to the etching press now.